Today I'm going to show you how you can design your own calendar template in Affinity version 3. So here I am in the new document setup. I already selected A4 as my default size. That's the most common format around the world, but it's also pretty easy to resize for any other format. So I using the portrait mode. I already changed my colors to a print friendly CMYK and I plan to start the project with multiple pages. So I turn on multi page toggle here. We don't need facing pages for calendar. It's not a booklet. So I will switch this off. Number of pages. I need 12 for months plus one extra as the cover page. So I will start with 13, but you can always add and remove pages. Do we need a master page here? We could use that, but to keep this project easier for you guys to edit use as a template, I will kind of skip that and show you how you can add tables and change them manually. I will keep small margins around as the visual clue for myself and no blitz because I plan to print it locally, not send it to printing house, but you can add blitz later. In my case, it will be white backdrop all around anyway. So no blitz, create document. As you can see, we automatically jump into layout mode whatever you got multiple pages at the start of the document. That's perfect. Let's keep the first page blank for now and move to the second one. We're going to start with an artistic text, type in the name of the first man. You can kind of drag it to make it a bit larger with the move tool or change the font size here at the top. So for months, I think I will stick to 96 points we can modify the font. I will stick to very classic, very old fashioned Helvetica in bold mode. And I will adjust the colors, some kind of dark blue. And that's our name of the month. It's aligned to the left. So that's perfect. And now I want this to be exactly in the middle. Add the margin here. Perfect. Next, I'm going to set up a frame for a picture at the top, but not using the image frame, but using the rectangle tool first. So we use rectangle tool first, then our round corners to around 15. And now this rounded corners frame, I will right click on it and I will convert this to picture frame. All right, so that's our picture frame. We don't need a fill color here. We don't need a stroke color. That's just a placeholder. So when you open this template or you make this template for yourself, you click on this picture frame and then you click replace image at the top left. You can very quickly load the image in it and it will be already in the correct position with rounded corners like that, kind of cropped out like that. All right, so we got space for our main image. We got name of the month. Now we just need all of the days. So for that, I recommend using a table tool. As you may notice so far, I'm using the layout mode, layout studio all the time, the orange one. So it's kind of multi-page document. So that's the safest space to stay with projects like this. All right, table tool, and then you can draw a table. Of course, we will need to adjust the size of this table. That's seven days a week. So we got seven columns. That's correct. For the rows, usually six is the best number really for calendars. For the first row, we're going to put days of the week. You can select text in multiple cells, just like in any table in different software and change the size of the font, the font itself, color of the text, and the alignment to the top, middle or the bottom of the cell, just like that. All right, so we start from Sunday. And now we need to fill in numbers in the rows below. 
we got exactly 31 days here in January. And again, we can select multiple cells and adjust the visuals for number days. Our center this. like that and increase the font to like 18. So we can type 18 here, we can make it bold. And again, I will stick to Helvetica. If you like to have extra space in your boxes, you can also put it down. So we can move to the bottom or to the top. And this way we can create a space for putting some stickers and important notes here, some marking birthdays and holidays. So that's also another way of doing that, moving this to the top right corner, let's say, and creating the space in that box. Talking about the box, we can also adjust the stroke for all of those boxes. So for example, I can take the top row first and actually get rid of the stroke around. All right, and now I can take care of the bottom part and we can have a bit thicker stroke, thicker line here. Deselect the table by clicking outside and inspect. All right, almost good. We still got those separators in between cells. We don't need them really. All right, looks better. Now we just need a top line here. All right, and that's our setup for the first page. Take a look, we got a space for your own image, we got name of the month, and then we got table for each day in that month. This is editable table, we can edit text and the visuals, how, what is the color of the stroke, what is the font, so feel free to adjust this in your own version. For weekends, I think I'll put a gentle gray color in them, so Sunday, Saturday will be a bit gray out to let us know it's a weekend. Very subtle gray color in it. And again, I kept this empty area in each cell. So later I can customize. This is my own calendar, so I can put important birthdays, holidays and notes, or even some funny stickers or emojis. All right, we did not set a master page, so I can now manually select the whole page, Command C to copy, move to page number three, Command V to paste, and just make some slight modification, like changing the name of the month, and realigning the numbers in the table. Here it is, February is a shorter month, so that's the only page in the calendar that we don't actually need the bottom button row, but I will still keep it to maintain the same structure across all of the pages. And again, I can now select it all, Command C, moving to the page number four, Command V, modify the name of the month and readjusting numbers slightly. So let me just do it for all 12 months. And this way, very quickly, we got all 12 pages for each month. In addition to adjusting the numbers, I also saved this style. So we got Helvetica 18 aligned to the top right. I save it as the calendar style. So when you wanna modify it, then you can easily kind of up, reapply it for all 12 pages. All right, so we got 12 pages. You can jump between them here on the page panel on the left, but you can also simply like scroll in your documents to kind of go all the way back. Keep in mind, this is not ready to use calendar, it's just a template. So now it's time for you to adjust colors, add your own pictures, mark important dates, adjust fonts if you want, and then export this final one as the PDF. So we can click File, Export, Export, and don't forget to select PDF so it can support all of the pages here, area all pages, 
in one single document. So, now you know how to make a calendar in Affinity app. If you want to speed up and download my files from this tutorial, I will drop the link in the description. It will be on my Gumroad, so if you want it completely free, just put zero as the tip and then download. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next tutorial.